Learn Inc. for engineering courses. Array. In this video, we are going to study about array, syntax, and program for implementation of one-dimensional array. Objective. What is an array? Application of array. One-dimensional array. Syntax of one-dimensional array. Initialization of one-dimensional array. Program for implementation of one-dimensional array. Advantages and disadvantages of array. What is an array? An array is a collection of same type of elements which are sheltered under a common name. An array can be visualized as a row in a table whose each successive block can be thought of as memory bytes containing one element. Application of Array Arrays are quite adjustable just like a bag wherein you could carry 10 books a day or 15 books the other day. Suppose if you aren't aware of the number of values on what the user is going to input on the system, then you definitely need an array with a maximum limiting size, which means you aren't going to declare a random number of variables, right? A quite trivial example would be your phone contacts. By viewing the software, will simply place your contacts in an array and we will use sorting to arrange them. Now, each contact will have a unique index that is according to its position and where in you can keep adding contacts. Values will be updated and it will just be added to a single array. One-dimensional array. To declare an array in C, a programmer specifies the type of the elements and the number of elements required by an array as follows. Data type, array name, array size. This is called a single dimensional array. The array size must be integer constant greater than zero and type can be any valid C data type. For example, to declare phi element array called A and its data type integer. Now, A is variable array which is sufficient to hold up to 5 integer numbers. All arrays have 0 as the index of their first element which is also called base index and last index of an array will be total size of the array minus 1. That is 5 minus 1 is 4. Initialization of one dimensional array. Two ways of initializing one dimensional array. Size is specified directly or indirectly. The general form of initialization of array syntax is data type array name of size is equal to list of values. For example, integer array initialization int a of 5 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Values are declared inside pair of braces. Here, array size is directly specified, that is 5. Compiler will assign the set of values to particular element of the array. Program for implementation of one-dimensional array. This program is used to demonstrate implementation of one-dimensional array. This preprocessor directive is used to link to the C library function. From void main function, the program execution starts. Inside the main function, declare one dimensional array name A with size 5, sum is equal to 0 and i. Clear screen function is used to clear the screen. This for loop is used to get the two values and then calculate sum value. Where initial value of i is 0 and check that condition 0 less than 1. This condition is true. Printf statement, print the given statement, that is, enter the a of 0 value. Scanf function is used to get a of i value, that is, a of 0 value from the user. 
and then calculate sum is equal to sum plus a of 0 where sum is 0 and a of 0 is 7. Sum is equal to 0 plus 7. Now sum value is 7 and then increment operator increase the i value by 1. Check the condition i is equal to 1. This condition is true then it move on to inside the loop. Again, get the a of 1 value from the user that is 7. Calculate sum value sum is equal to 7 plus 7 that is 14. Now, sum value is 14. Then increment the i value by 1 that is 2. Check the condition. This condition was false and then it move on to the remaining part of the program. Printf statement is used to display the output that is the sum of the given number is 14. Get ch function is used to exit the console screen. Advantages It is used to represent multiple data items of same type by using one single name. It can be used to implement other data structures like linked list, stacks, queues, trees, graphs, etc. Two dimensional arrays are used to represent matrices. Disadvantages We must know in advance that how many elements are to be stored in array. Array is static structure. It means that array is of fixed size. The memory which is allocated to array cannot be increased or reduced. Since array is of fixed size, if we allocate more memory than requirement, then the memory space will be wasted. And if we allocate less memory than requirement, then it will create problem. The elements of array are stored in consecutive memory locations. So, insertions and deletions are very difficult and time-consuming important things to know about arrays. Array indexes always begin with 0. Hence, we say array of size 10. Array has elements from index 0 to 9. If we specify or use array as integer array of 10, integer array of 11, integer array of 200, the C compiler will not show any error but will get runtime errors while executing the program. Arrays are supported by primitive data types, non-primitive types like structures, unions, pointers, etc. For more programming in C videos, subscribe LearnInc YouTube channel.